Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Battleborn and my guide on how to play Melka. So this guide is obviously a little bit late but I actually didn't know how to play Melka until I actually fought against a few Melkas that were highly successful. So I obviously watched them, I learned a little bit and I tried some things out with Melka and they actually did work out. And yeah, so let's get right to it. So, right off the bat, I can say to you that I am playing Melka mostly as an harasser and a builder. She is just so agile and so fast and she can move around so quickly that she's able to escape pretty much from every position and deal damage at the same time. Her poison is just so dang annoying when you're playing a squishy character like Wrath or other Eldritch because it will pretty much cancel out your health regeneration or your shield regeneration so you will be not able to actually get into the fight again. And because she's so fast and can move around so quickly, you are not able to hit her as easily. It's a little bit like Heldarius, I would say, but the constant damage output is just a little bit higher than the one Caldarius has, at least in my opinion. So I start out at the right lane and I'm there with, I think, an Oscar Mike. So I'm focusing on killing the turret first because Oscar Mike obviously needs to get his level 2 skill to be able to clear the waves as fast as possible. And as you can see, I'm standing a little bit back and just spraying my poison all over the place. The enemy Oscar Mike is going to have a bad time, same with the Caldarius, because I'm just going to spray the, the poison all over them so they will always have to retreat. And with my health degeneration I actually have um, an advantage over them, because they cannot regain health without leaving the lane. At this point I'm saving my escape skills, so my spike and my launch to escape if the Caldarius actually decides to rush in and finish me off with his melee attacks because they can actually be pretty heavy. But here I'm starting to build. Um, should have saved my shards there to get the um, building reduction or building uh, things so I'm able to build things for fewer shards. However, I did build the healing station first um, and because of that I am able to regain my health so much faster than I would without it. Here I am waiting for the shards to spawn. The shards will spawn at exactly 28 minutes. And yeah, I am just standing here, getting to the shards. Wanted to get the shards on the right lane as well, but the Oscar Mike got them for me. Yeah, just spraying my poison over the Oscar Mike to harass him and get him to maybe switch lanes or whatever he want, he's going to do. And using my spike uh, as a minion, clear is actually the best way for medical to kill the minions. Especially at level 2 you will be able to lay down a little bit of a field of poison and that is able to kill off the minions fairly quickly. It is absolutely essential for Melka to have at least a little bit of a minion clear because sometimes you see yourself you, or you, you get yourself on a lane alone and then it's actually really really important to have a minion clear and then retreat after killing the minions as quickly as possible. So the reason why I actually had a lot of problems with Melka at the very beginning when I tried to play her was because I try to use her launch to get close to enemies and then deal damage close up. However, the launch doesn't do much damage actually. If you compare it to Caldarius dash or Diani's dash, it doesn't do that much damage. And even if you're close to the enemies, your damage output is just pretty, pretty small so you are not able to finish off characters or actually deal a significant amount of damage with her. But you can use her launch as an escape skill and just a versatility skill to get around quickly to 
get two higher positions to give you a strategical advantage and to just get around the map just super quickly. I think you will actually see my see me using my launch to get to the shard in the middle in combination with my spike in a second here. And I think that is also the way Malka is actually meant to play. Because if it would be a skill to actually just get to an enemy, I think they would have imp implemented it, uh, implemented the skill more like Caldarius skill, like the dash where you're actually just dashing uh, forward, not able to get any height or... yeah. So there were no enemies on the right lane and I actually built out the stinger turret so that the stinger turret would help our minions get through. And I switched lanes right after I collect the shards to help out the left lane. They needed some help here because the mm, Keldon was pretty low health. And then I just get into there and harass the Oscar Mike. I thought he would retreat and it would have probably been his best option. However, he didn't and I was able to get an easy kill on him. Here switching lanes again, using my skills to get around as quickly as possible. And seeing that the Oscar Mike is on the right lane, no problems here, he will be able to clear out the minions fairly quickly. However, I am getting harassed and attacked by the Kelvin of the enemies. But I'm able to escape using my skills and as you can see that I was able to make a lot of ground extremely quickly. And I think the Kelvin later in the game will harass me even more. However, I'm just able to always retreat or get a strategical advantage by just launching myself on higher positions where he's not able to deal damage to me because he's a melee character. Alright, one thing you will have to watch out for with playing Melka is Wrath because at level 4 Wrath will actually be able to silence you and then you're not able to get away. So watch out for Wrath. So with Malka, I highly recommend everyone to get a gear that will buff your building abilities so you will be able to build things for fewer shards and also get an item that will buff your shards so you will get passive shards. The third item you should get or you can get, I don't actually know which one would be the best, however Health regeneration is really awesome, but you can also use reload speed because you can just spray out your poison even faster. However, that choice is completely up to you and the way you actually plan like that. If you're a little bit more aggressive and want to harass even more, I would use a reload speed item. But if you're playing more passively and you just want to have more survivability, I would use a health regeneration item. So the enemies are pushing pretty hard on the left lane and I am helping out the left lane all the time. However, since they are pushing the left lane I'm going to spawn a giant minion on the right lane because either they will have to switch to kill the minion or the minion will come through and we will get 20 points. And at this, this point um, they don't have much of a choice. The Montana is super low health, I am able to attack him. He's He does need to focus on the minions because we are a lot farther away in points. And so I'm able to get a pretty easy kill on him because he just is not able to defend himself against me since he has to focus on the minions. Right after the minions came through I'm switching to left lane again and using my ultimate to give us a little bit of an advantage because the Kelvin was actually full health and with a pocket Miko it's just extremely hard to kill Kelvin. However with my ultimate and my poison I'm able to get him to low health and after that focus on the Miko so he's not able to heal him up. And then we are able to get an advantage and just push him back and attack and focus on minions because we just killed three people of the enemy team. Obviously now that the enemies are dead, our minions are coming through and I'm not too worried about right lane because our Oscar Mike is there protecting the lane with his damage over time grenade 
And it seems like he also got the minions through and got the uh, shards off of them a second ago. At this point I can go much more aggressive since I actually now have a skill that can deal a lot of damage. And having a level advantage over the enemies is actually the thing that will help out Melka the most. With getting shards, building a lot of stuff and harassing and focusing on minions first, she is able to get an advantage on levels extremely fast actually. And once you are, have the advantage on levels and you have your ultimate attack, you are able to kill off the squishy characters pretty fast and help out your teammates with killing tanks. For example, the Kelvin we just killed or the Montana. However, the Montana is full health and actually has now 30% damage reduction with his skill, so we're not able to defend this lane completely against him and the minions. But we got the whole right lane through and we are in the lead, so that's not a problem. At this point, um, again, just harassing the enemies, spraying my poison over them and getting them to retreat a little bit. As you can see now I pushed them back with my a little bit more aggressive play to get back in the lane. And it actually gives us the help, the advantage on killing minions. However, with the stun of Nico at level 4 and the knockup of Montana, I'm playing a little bit more cautiously, even though I know I can get away fairly quickly. And here I use my skill to give myself a strategic advantage. I killed off the minions and I'm able to just now play a little bit more passively and just, again, harass the enemies. I'm probably not able to kill off the Montana or the Miko, however I'm able to harass them so they will have to play a little bit more passively. Or not passively, but defensively. So the enemies are almost all on the left lane and our Oscar Mike is defending right lane so it's fairly easy for us to get minions through on the right lane and with my ultimate there I attack the Miko and the Calvin of our team body blocked him so we were able to get him extremely quickly. Here going in more aggressively enemies are going to be slowed. I get it and use my escape skill to get away and I actually get a kill on the Oscar Mike which is awesome. Your spike can be a good way to deal the finishing blow to enemies because it will not only deal I think 200 damage but it will also put poison on the enemies so even if they are a little super low health and are able to run away most of the time the poison will in fact be able to finish them off if they don't have a healing station which they are going to. But here the enemies are actually surrendering because they are not able to get any minions through on the left lane since we are defending and our Oscar Mike was able to, de uh, to push on the right lane. And that is it ladies and gentlemen. So just to summarize the character of Melka a little bit more. Melka is fairly squishy, she has fairly low health. But she has health regeneration which is awesome and she's able to just deal constant damage to her enemies with the poison. She's able to get around super quickly with her launch and is able to gather shards extremely quickly even though this wasn't like a super shardy game this time. Use her launch as a versatility tool. If you get a little bit low health just use your spike to damage the enemies a little bit and your launch to just shoot out of their range. Most of the time you're able to get away. Backport is also a pretty valid option if you know that the lanes are safe and there are no minions coming through from the enemies. However, I wouldn't use the backport too often since, Mal since Malka has a uh, pretty awesome health regeneration which you can also buff with certain items. Use Melka to harass but don't get too greedy, don't chase the enemies too far into the base. Just as I said she is pretty squishy and using your skills to advance is actually 
not that good, because most of the time you will just get massive damage from turrets and enemies. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, I hope you liked this guide. If you like it, leave a like, if you dislike it, leave a dislike, and if your feelings are a little bit more complicated than that, leave a comment. Until then, Medi pieces out, cheers and bye bye.